Robots. Our next fight features two bots from Florida. We have Ultimo Destructo facing Axe Backwards. Ultimo Destructo, captained by Sean Irvin, is a modular bot with multiple configuration possibilities. They're currently sitting at 2-0 after two untelevised matches. But Kenny, those wins aren't exactly of the highest quality, are they? No, in its first match, Ultimo's opponent, Valkyrie, broke down right out of the gate and it won a judge's decision against a barely functioning Parallax. So this team still has a lot to prove. That said, let's see if they can pick up another W here. And then there's Kurt Durgin bringing Axe backwards. We've seen this bit of crazy engineering before. It's a full body drum spinner with its motor and weapon components packed in the 110 pound drum. It lost against Warhawk and then in a rumble with Deviled Egg and Basilisk. But when that drum is at full speed, it's tossed bots every which way. Let's see who wins the Battle of Florida here tonight. Let's go that way inside the box. In the red square, this bot's so powerful, you could call him a one-hit wonder. Mm, bot, watch your hands, son. It's Ultimo Destructo! Take a look at Sean Kenny. This guy is a big character. He's even got a different name for each one of his weapons. Yeah, it looks like he's going with the hammer configuration tonight. This one's called Bozo. In the blue square, this gigantic drum makes a very nice hum, but sounds even worse when it smacks your face. Prepare to get whacked. It's Axe Backwards! Well, there's a look at Axe backwards. Like I said, it's an oil barrel with wheels on it. What's it trying to do? Well, he says he wants to launch up the face of Ultimo Destructo and break that stupid hammer. That's his quote. That is not mine, Sean, You're editorializing okay? again, I, Kenny. I, I would never mess with the bot father. Robots activate. If you take a look at Ultimo, he's actually added 24 projectile missiles at the top of his bot. Are those gonna do anything? Well, maybe against a bot with exposed components, but not necessarily against Axe backwards. Either way, I cannot wait to see them. Which green and black bot will rule the state of Florida? Allowing Ultimo Destructor to get in front. Let's see if he can get another hit with that hammer. He's in line. Oh, oh, uh -oh no. that wedge. That wedge is coming off. Nice job. Kenny, I feel like I'm at the Fog Bowl game in like the 1980s between the Bears and Eagles. I can barely see inside the battle box. <laughs> and now it looks like Axe Backwards is stuck between a bot and a hard place here. But it looks like Ultimo Destructo is actually using the grinding sensation to work against Axe Backwards. That's right. But that wedge is barely hanging on here. I don't know how it's still connected to Ultimo Destructo. Whoa, big swing and a miss by the pulverizer. Uh-oh, there goes the tire. Ultimate Destructo is just falling apart right here in the battle box. Oh, there goes the wedge. It's hanging on by a thread. Uh-oh. It's like that kid losing his first tooth. Oh, yeah, get some. Well, Axe Backwards is definitely doing a lot more damage than we've seen. You mean to our floor? Yes, I'd agree. <laughs> I'm sending him a bill. <laughs> Closing in on a minute to go. Uh-oh, looks Whoa. like those motors are burning up. Those Motors of Axe Backwards. Axe back. 
backwards is smoking. Ultimo Destructo ain't moving, oh. You really need to improve your Spanish. Sean Irvin and Ultimo Ten. Destructo getting counted out. Eight, seven. They may have come six, in 2-0, oh, but it's Axe Backwards four, that's leaving with the three, W. Two, one, that's a knockout. Axe Backwards moving up in the world. Celebrating with his three year old son, Garrett. I told you those motors only had three minutes left. <laughs> Kenny, we had fireworks early on. Yes, Literally. We did. Look at those. Missiles everywhere, except it didn't really land on X backwards. The problem was Ultimo Destructo couldn't get Bozo the Hammer to work really well, and it was just taking a beating from that 110 pound drum spinner. That's right. He got one hit in, and he was able to be effective with his wedge, but that is pretty much it. X backwards with that drum. He's not the fastest robot in the world, but when he was landing with that drum spinner, he really was picking Ultimo Destructo apart. Once X backwards started chewing up that wedge in front, Ultimo Destructo became exposed and left a few pieces of itself behind as souvenirs. So Kurt Durgin celebrates his first win of the year with Axe Backwards, while Sean Irvin sits at 2-1 with Ultimo Destructo. But thanks for the fireworks show, Sean. We got lots more to come on BattleBots Fight Night.